you ready to step into the timeless streets of Rome where the awe-inspiring Colosseum, the historic Ark of Constantine, the lively Piazza Venezia reside? Before you set foot in Italy's storied capital, let us lead you through how to spend two days in Rome, Italy. We're here to unveil the city's hidden gems and offer local tips that will elevate your visit from an ordinary trip to an extraordinary adventure. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more captivating travel guides and adventures from across the globe. And be sure to stay until the end for those invaluable insider tips that will make your visit to Rome truly remarkable. Best Time to Visit Rome the ideal months to visit Rome are April to June and September to October. These periods offer the perfect balance of pleasant weather, fewer crowds, and the vibrant essence of the city in full bloom. Embrace the charm of Rome under the soft glow of spring or the rich hues of autumn for an unforgettable experience. City Airport Tips Landing in Leonardo da Vinci Fiumicino Airport, the primary gateway to Rome, equip yourself with these insider tips. Navigate through the airport with ease by downloading its map on your phone and keep some euros handy for immediate expenses. Utilize the Leonardo Express train service to reach the city center, a swift 30-minute journey costing around 15 USD. Where to stay in Rome? The Centro Storico, Rome's historic center, stands out as an ideal base for exploring the city's wonders. Not only does it put the majority of sightseeing spots within easy reach, but it also immerses you in the charm of Rome's ancient streets. For accommodations here, expect to pay around 150 to 300 USD per night, where the blend of location and experience justifies the price. For those keen on exploring beyond the traditional, neighborhoods like Esquilino, Testaccio, and Trastevere offer unique vibes and slightly more affordable lodging options, with average prices ranging from 100 to 200 USD per night. These areas are known for their authentic Roman feel, bustling markets, and vibrant nightlife. Monti, a neighborhood cherished for its bohemian atmosphere and proximity to the Colosseum, presents a fabulous choice for those wishing to stay near this iconic landmark. Here, hotels with Colosseum views might set you back about 200 to 400 USD per night, offering a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to wake up to breathtaking ancient vistas. How to get around Rome Navigating Rome is a breeze with its extensive public transportation system. The Rome Metro, buses, and trams offer a comprehensive network to explore every corner of the city. For unlimited travel, grab a 72-hour Roma Pass for approximately 40 USD, ensuring freedom and flexibility throughout your adventure. Day 1. Explore Rome's Heart Morning, Colosseum Begin your Rome adventure with a visit to its most iconic landmark, the Colosseum. This massive amphitheater, built between 72 and 80 AD, was once the stage for gladiatorial battles, theatrical shows, and even public executions. Captivating up to 50,000 spectators in its heyday, despite the wear and tear of time and nature, the Colosseum's grandeur remains undiminished, solidifying its status as a must-visit and one of the new seven wonders of the world. To beat the crowds and get those perfect shots, aim to arrive early, ideally around 30 minutes before it opens at 9am. Inside, you'll find a variety of ticket options to explore this ancient marvel. Entry tickets generally start at around 17 USD, making it a priceless yet affordable dive into the heart of Roman history. Mid-Morning, Ark of Constantine Right next to the Colosseum, you'll find the majestic Ark of Constantine. And the best part? It's completely free to visit. Whether you decide to explore it before diving into the Forum Romanum, or after, it's a seamless addition to your itinerary. This triumphal arc isn't just any arc, it's the largest of its kind from ancient Rome still standing proud. It was built to celebrate Constantine the Great's victory over Maxentius at the Battle of Milvian Bridge in AD 312. Some believe this spot might have once honored Emperor Hadrian with an earlier monument. As you wander close, look up to see the intricate sculptures of soldiers adorning the top of its three arches, a silent testament to Rome's glorious past. Forum Romanum and Palatine Hill Keep your Colosseum ticket handy. It's your golden ticket to the next two incredible stops in your Rome adventure, the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill. Dive into the heart of ancient Rome at the Forum, 
once bustling with shops, markets, and brimming with political, religious, and social hustle and bustle, this was where the big decisions were made, and history was written. Just a stone's throw away, climb up to Palatine Hill, one of Rome's most ancient spots, offering breathtaking panoramic views. Even if history isn't your thing, the views over the Forum and the Colosseum are truly breathtaking. If you've opted for a guided tour, both these historical gems are included. Just follow your guide and soak in the rich tales and stunning sights. Remember, the combined ticket for the Colosseum, Roman Forum, and Palatine Hill typically cost around 17 USD, ensuring you get a full dose of history without breaking the bank. Lunch. After exploring Palatine Hill, a leisurely 10-minute stroll will take you towards your next must-see spot, with a perfect opportunity to grab lunch along the way. Piazza Venezia is just around the corner, offering a blend of culinary delights. For those in the mood for a sit-down meal with a stunning backdrop, Ristorante Roof Garden is your go-to. Here you can indulge in delicious pastas and risottos while gazing over the Roman Forum. Expect to spend around 20 to 30 USD for a meal that combines great taste with breathtaking views. If you're after something quick and easy, Emanuel's Food Deli has got you covered. Grab a sandwich for about 10 USD and enjoy a casual picnic at Piazza di Aracoeli, weather permitting. It's a wonderful way to soak in the local vibe and enjoy a tasty bite amidst the beauty of Rome. Afternoon, Piazza Venezia. Piazza Venezia stands at the crossroads of Rome's bustling life, where the iconic Via dei Fori Imperiali, Via del Plebiscito, Via di Teatro Marcello, and Via del Corso met. Yes, it's a bit of a whirlwind spot, but the lively atmosphere is part of its charm, offering fantastic views of your next Roman adventure stop. If the hustle and bustle of the square isn't for you, no worries. Extend your lunch break at the restaurant of your choice. It's the perfect chance to relax and recharge. Trust me, your feet will thank you. The afternoon ahead is packed with more Roman wonders, so consider this a well-deserved break. Altare delle Patria the Altare della Patria, nestled in the heart of Piazza Venezia, is a sight to behold. Often nicknamed the Wedding Cake or the Typewriter due to its distinct appearance, this grand monument pays homage to the first king of unified Italy and the heroes of World War II. With its stunning colonnades, fountains, sculptures, and reliefs all crowned by statues of the goddess of victory, Victoria, it's a feast for the eyes. Before you can ascend the steps for an incredible view of the city, you'll pass through a quick security check, but don't worry, it's totally free. For those looking to elevate their experience literally, there's an elevator that whisks you to the top observation deck. Here, a 360-degree panorama of Rome awaits. This exclusive view comes with a modest fee of about 8 USD, and tickets are available right there. It's a small price for an unforgettable experience. Insider tip. The Altare della Patria is open from 9.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. in the fall and winter, and until 7.30 p.m. during the spring and summer months. To make the most of your visit, aim for the golden hours of early morning or late afternoon. Not only will the light be perfect for photos, but the views of Rome bathed in the soft glow of sunrise or sunset are truly magical. Campidoglio Next up and perfect for those warmer Rome days is Campidoglio, perched atop Capitoline Hill, one of Rome's famous seven hills. Just a short stroll from the Altare della Patria, you'll find the Grand Coordinata Capitolina Staircase, a Michelangelo masterpiece guiding you to the square. This spot is not just a feast for the eyes, but also a treasure trove of history and art housing the renowned Capitoline Museums. While diving into the museum's rich collection of classical sculptures and Renaissance masterpieces might tempt art aficionados, entry costs around 15 USD, everyone should make a point to check out the panoramic view of the Forum Romanum from behind the square. It's a breathtaking sight and, best of all, absolutely free to enjoy. Baths of Caracalla Dive into the ancient world at the Baths of Caracalla. One of the grandest examples of Roman public baths, or thermae, started by Emperor Septimus Severus in 206 AD and completed by his son, Emperor Caracalla, a decade later. This sprawling complex once boasted three main baths, Frigidarum, Calidarum, Tepidarum. 
swimming pools, and was decked out in stunning mosaics, frescoes, and statues accommodating up to 1,600 bathers. Entry to the Baths of Caracalla is about 11 USD, which includes a handy video guide, open daily from 9 a.m. till an hour before sunset. Tickets can be booked online or bought on site, for those keen on delving deeper into its history, guided tours are an excellent option. Situated just south of Palatine Hill, a 30-minute walk from Campadoglio will get you there. Or catch bus 118 or 628 from Aracoli, Piazza Venezia for a quick ride. Early Evening, Mouth of Truth The Mouth of Truth, or Boccia della Verita, is more than just a piece of marble. It's a legendary slice of Rome's rich tapestry of myths and mysteries. Carved to represent a river god with wide eyes and flowing hair, it's said that this ancient lie detector could bite off the hands of those who dared to deceive while placing their hand in its open mouth. This captivating legend stems from a tale of a Roman woman cleverly outsmarting the stone's judgment to prove her innocence in a rather tricky situation involving accusations of adultery. Nowadays, visitors flock to test their own truthfulness, albeit with a much lighter heart. For a small fee of around $2.20 USD, you're invited to place your hand in the mouth of truth and find out if you're as truthful as you believe. It's a fun, must-do experience when in Rome, adding a playful moment to your two-day itinerary. Located a 20-minute walk from the Baths of Caracalla via the scenic Via del Circo Massimo, make sure to get there before 5.50 p.m. After closing, you can only catch a glimpse of this iconic sculpture through a fence. Evening. Giardino degli Aranci. Cap off your first day in Rome with a serene visit to the Giardino degli Aranci, nestled atop Aventine Hill. This picturesque park, with its neatly trimmed gardens and fragrant orange trees, encircles an ancient basilica dating back to 422 AD. For a stunning city vista that might align with a breathtaking sunset during the cooler months, head up to Punto Panamarico, just a 10 to 15 minute walk from the Mouth of Truth. Reaching the gardens involves a slight uphill journey, totally worth it for the views and tranquility that awaits. Don't miss the quirky yet magical Aventine keyhole experience. It might feel like you hit a dead end, but the real surprise is a keyhole in a grand green door. Peering through, you'll discover a perfectly composed view of St. Peter's Basilica, creating a unique and memorable moment from your Rome adventure. Insider Tip while the gardens behind the keyhole are private and off-limits, the view through the keyhole is a secret treasure of Rome, offering a one-of-a-kind perspective that's both enchanting and Instagram-worthy. Make sure to visit before dusk to capture this magical sight in the best light. Dinner For your first night's dinner in Rome, consider two vibrant neighborhoods, Trastevere or Centro Storico. Depending on where you're staying or how you're feeling after a day of exploration, in Trastevere, cross the Ponte Sabliccio to discover a world of culinary delights. Hostaria Luce offers elegantly plated meals in a chic ambiance, while Seven Corte boasts a terrace with stunning street views, perfect for enjoying Sicilian seafood. For a cozy meal, Ristorante Sedaoce in Altalena serves up delicious pizzas and pastas that are sure to satisfy. Alternatively, the Centro Storico provides a classic Roman dining experience with a bit of a touristy flair, yet still houses some hidden gems. Cantina e Cucina is a favorite for its retro charm and authentic Italian dishes. Er Facciolaro offers a rustic setting with a diverse menu, and Trattoria Lili, a quaint family-run spot, promises heartwarming meals. No dinner in Centro Storico is complete without desserts from two sizes. Located near Cantina e Cucina, famous for its exceptional tiramisu, including traditional and inventive flavors like pistachio and caramel, it's so irresistible you might find yourself coming back every night of your stay. Expect to spend around 20 to 30 USD per person for a meal, with tiramisu desserts around 5 USD each, a small price for such unforgettable tastes of Rome. Day 2. Hidden Gems of Rome Morning, Trevi Fountain The Trevi Fountain, a jewel of Rome's Centro Storico, is breathtakingly beautiful. At its center, the statue of Neptune, the Roman god of the sea, commands attention in his shelled chariot, pulled by two horses representing the sea's dual nature. 
Though the fountain once quenched the thirst of ancient Romans, today's recycled water is for dishes, not drinking. Join in the tradition, turn your back to the fountain, and toss a coin over your left shoulder with your right hand to make a wish. For a quieter moment with this magnificent monument, aim for an early morning visit around 8 a.m. You might share the space, but the serene atmosphere is worth the early alarm. Remember, there's no cost to visit, making it a perfect budget-friendly highlight. Spanish Steps Just a 10-minute stroll from the enchanting Trevi Fountain, you'll find yourself at the base of the Spanish Steps. Climbing 138 steps, you'll ascend from the vibrant Piazza di Spagna to the serene Trinita de Monte Church above. This spot, steeped in history and named after the nearby Spanish Embassy to the Holy See, has long been a magnet for artists and writers, drawn by its beauty and atmosphere. Crafted by architect Francesco de Sanctis, the Spanish steps are a must-see for their charm and picturesque setting. However, keep in mind that sitting on the steps is no longer allowed and doing so could result in a fine. Mid-Morning, Terrazza del Pincio Terrazza del Pincio, an enchanting viewpoint at the gateway to Villa Bornese, offers a breathtaking panorama over Piazza del Popolo with St. Peter's Basilica on the horizon. For the best experience, visit early to bask in the gentle morning light and beat the crowds, or time your visit for sunset to witness Rome in its golden hour glory. A mere 10-minute jaunt from the Spanish steps, you have two routes, the scenic path through Piazza del Popolo, or the historic climb up the 138 Spanish steps to Trinita de Monti, then along the upper road straight to Terrazza del Pincio. Bornese Gallery at Villa Bornese Right behind Terrazza del Pincio, without any need for transit, Villa Bornese awaits. As Rome's largest park, it's a treasure trove of art galleries, museums, statues, temples, a zoo, a boating lake, and even a theater. Among these, the Bornese Gallery and Museum stands out as a must-visit, showcasing masterpieces by Bernini, Caravaggio, and Botticelli in a stunning mansion. Villa Bornese is open from Tuesday to Sunday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m with extended hours until 10 p.m. on Wednesdays. Tickets to the Bornese Gallery are about 16 USD, and it's a smart move to book in advance to avoid waiting. Insider tip. To get the most out of your visit, consider a guided tour of the gallery and gardens. Not only will you skip the lines, but you'll also gain insights from an expert guide, making your experience even richer. Afternoon, Piazza del Popolo. Piazza del Popolo, or People's Square, is the scenic spot you admired from Terrazza del Pincio. This square is not just any square, it's where Rome's northern gate Porta Flaminia stands and is home to the city's oldest obelisk. Surrounded by stunning sculptures, mountains, museums, cozy cafes, and a chapel crafted by Raphael, it's a hub of history and culture. Lunch while Piazza del Popolo has dining options, venturing into the side streets nearby offers a leap in quality and service. We had a delightful meal at Brillo Restaurant, where the food and service impressed us greatly. For a hidden gem, Zelda Ristorante serves up Italian dishes brimming with flavor in a cozy setting. And if you're in the mood for something more upscale, Aqua Roof Terrazza Molinari is the place to go. Their experimental cocktails are the perfect complement to the luxurious ambiance. Insider tip. To truly savor Rome's culinary scene, stepping off the beaten path often leads to the most memorable meals. And remember, a great dining experience in Rome doesn't always come with a high price tag. Meals at these spots typically range from 15 to 30 USD per person, cocktails extra. Afternoon, Pantheon. The Pantheon, now a captivating Catholic church, was originally dedicated to all Roman gods. Its survival through wars, invasions, and natural disasters is a testament to its architectural prowess. Inside its awe-inspiring dome, the world's largest unsupported structure of its kind features the famous Oculus, opening the space to the sky. Entry to the Pantheon is free, welcoming visitors daily from 9 a.m. to 6.45 p.m and 5.45 p.m. on Sundays. Late Afternoon, Piazza Navona Piazza Navona is a vibrant expanse in the heart of Rome, brimming with sights. The square boasts majestic fountains at each end. 
Neptune reigns in the north, while the south showcases playful dolphins and tritons. The centerpiece is the striking Fountain of the Four Rivers, crowned by an obelisk and designed by Bernini. Surrounding the square, you'll find remnants of the ancient stadium of Domitian, the Grand Palazzo Pamphili, and the beautiful 17th century church of Sant'Agnese in Agone. Early Evening, Campo dei Fiori Campo dei Fiori, meaning Field of Flowers, marks the last public square visit on our two-day Rome journey. Famous for its vibrant market, here you can find everything from fresh produce and flowers to unique souvenirs and gifts. It's the ideal spot for shopping for yourself or finding something special for those back home. Just a five-minute stroll from Piazza Navona, Campo dei Fiori is easily accessible and a must-visit for a taste of the local life. Evening Food Tour Who doesn't love Italian cuisine? Beyond exploring my top restaurant picks, diving into a food tour is a fantastic way to immerse yourself in Rome's culinary wonders over two days. Rome, a paradise for foodies, offers an array of food tours. We chose the Rome Street Food Tour, which did not disappoint. Kicking off at 5.15pm from Piazza del Bischion, adjacent to Campo di Fiori, this two and a half hour journey treats you to an array of delights from charcuterie and suppli a personal favorite, to zucchini, flour fritters, pizza, beer, and gelato, all in a cozy group setting or as a private experience. For those staying in Trastevere, the Trastevere two and a half hour street food tour is a gem. Starting at 5.30 p.m. from Insula Tiberina, Tiber Island, it's a deep dive into traditional Italian fare, with cured meats, cheeses, pizzas, and sweets. Evening, Ponte Umberto. After savoring the flavors of Rome on your food tour, whether through the Roman ghetto or the charming streets of Trastevere, consider a leisurely return to Ponte Umberto for sunset. This suggestion is entirely optional, especially if you've already visited the bridge. Yet, it's renowned as one of Rome's prime spots for enjoying the golden hour. The breathtaking views of the city bathed in warm sunset hues are definitely worth the extra effort. And there you have it! A whirlwind adventure through Rome, packed with ancient wonders, culinary delights, and hidden gems that have stood the test of time. We hope this guide inspires you to explore the Eternal City with a fresh perspective and make the most out of your two-day visit from the majestic Colosseum to the serene Campidoglio. Each step in Rome tells a story of glory, art, and history. If you found this guide helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more travel tips and adventures from around the world. Your support helps us uncover more secrets and share the beauty of travel with you. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on an update from us. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, but the memories you create here will last a lifetime. Until our next journey, safe travels and see you soon.